and so we'll try another example here actually even a simpler one in that uh, I'm going to do y, y equals sine of x and uh, then y prime is cosine of x y of 0 is 0 y prime of 0 is 1 so those are similar to before and since y double prime is minus sine of x if I add y double prime plus y prime I get 0 uh, so y is our power series uh, sum k equals 0 um, to infinity uh, a sub k x to the k and our y double prime is uh, that second derivative so now I, I plug everything into the differential equation oops I uh, left off my k equals uh, 2 um, okay so plug those in sum k equals 2 to infinity a sub k k k minus 1 x to the k minus 2 and then uh, plus the sum k equals 0 to infinity uh, a sub k x to the k and that's all 0 so now I need to get my exponents right so we're going to let uh, j equal k minus 2 and that means k equals j plus 2 and here we'll just do uh, j equals k and uh, so once again put this in I get j equals 0 to infinity uh, I'm going to do the k and k minus 1 first so um, j plus 2 2 uh, j plus 1 times a to the j plus 2 and then um, plus the sum uh, j equals 0 to infinity a sub j x to the j oops I forgot my x to the j back here x to the j uh, equals 0 Pulling in uh, all like terms together, we get the sum j equals 0 to infinity. And so we have our j plus 2, j plus 1, a sub j plus 2, uh, plus a sub j. And then that's all times x to the j equals 0. And so in this case, um, uh, we have these terms they all have to be zero because this thing's identically zero so whatever x values we put in we have to get zero the only way to do that is to have all coefficients zero now so if I write this down I have that uh, j plus 2 times j plus 1 times a sub j plus 2 plus a sub j is equal to zero which means a sub j plus 2 is equal to minus a sub j over j plus 2. Oh, there's my grandson coming in. Guess he's going to help or something. Um, okay. So, hmm? Yeah. Okay, let me finish this video. Okay. All right, so uh, we have that. And what we know is that a0 equals 0 and a1 equals 1. Yeah. Uh, from our initial conditions I, I up here. I can't find Nina. Oh, you... Go look for her. Okay. Nina. That was easy. Okay. So, um, now uh, we had this j equals 0 and so forth. So uh, I'll just start subbing things in. If j equals 0 we have then a2 is uh, minus a0 over 2 times 1 but that's just 0 because a0 is 0. Then j equals 1 we have that a3 is equal to minus a1 over uh, 3 times 2 
which is minus 1 over 3 factorial. Now, I'm, partly I'm doing 3 factorial because I know that the answer is going to be signed, so I'd rather use this as 3 factorial because I should get factorials and the rest of the stuff. Uh, j equals 2, a4 is equal to minus a2, but a2 is 0. And then uh, 4 times 3, so I get 0. Uh, j equals 3, that's a sub 5, and that's minus a3 over uh, 5 times 4. So that's minus a minus. Oh, a3 was minus 1. So, so that's minus a minus. I get plus 1 over the 3 factorial. That's the a3. And then um, uh, also times the 5 times the 4. So that's positive 1 over 5 factorial. And, and so notice, you know, what I'm going to get is, you know, a sub um, any given k is going to be equal to 0 if k is even. And although, you know, I, I'm not absolutely sure, right, from just doing these few, but I am sure because I know what the answer is. Um, if I look at uh, another a sub k uh, for when it's odd, right, I'm going to get plus or minus one of the two over k factorial when k is odd. Okay, and it alternates, right? The first, uh, when for one I get one, uh, for three I get minus uh, one over three factorial and and so forth. So, um, what this turns out to be, let's see, I need a new page, I guess, right, is that this is going to be 1 minus 1 over 3 factorial x cubed plus 1 over 5 factorial x uh, to the fifth uh, plus, uh, oops, minus 1 over 7 factorial x to the seventh, and, and it goes on like that, and that is the sine of x. Okay, now you could write this more compactly, right? I can use my notation. I could say k equals zero to infinity. Now, I have an x, but it's you have to be careful here. It's not to the k. It, ooh, and I had a one there. That should be an x. Okay, let me go back and Oh, this is page, somehow I got to page 3 instead of um, page 2, I don't know. But um, look again, what we had, a1 was 1, so that's 1 times x. Okay, so just in case I, my writing it as 1 and not x to begin with threw you off. But notice, that's x, that goes with x cubed, all right? And that one goes with x to the fifth, and that pattern keeps going. And um, so I think, come on, there we go. Um, oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that was some scratching I'd done before. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, um, page two. So. I have that now, so I can write this a little bit more compactly in that uh, I don't get to go up by k. Notice I have to write this as 2k plus 1, right? To skip with power series, to skip every other power, you have to have a 2 times k in there somehow. And so this is 2k plus 1. And then divided by, well, whatever the power is, that's my factorial. So 2k plus 1 factorial. Okay. Oh, and I still need my minus sign. Well, when k is 0, I have a positive. So I could write this as negative 1 and a k like that. So I, I could write my answer in this very nice, compact uh, form. But, you know... 
I can see it here as well. And, um, and sometimes you really can't write it very well in a compact form. It's usually just when we have very nice uh, answers that we, we kind of know. And there, there are certainly others where we wouldn't know that, you know, what the function was that we were working with, but you could still get a pretty nice compact form like that. Uh, but generally speaking, you know, what we want to do in, in these kind of problems for us is just get this idea that we can do it this way and we can get these first few terms um, so that we show we, we know the basic idea. Okay, so again, um, I'm just solving a problem that we knew how to solve anyway, in this case, um, and uh, we can go through the solution um, using these series and get to our uh, final answer here, um, you know, something like this at the top up here, or a compact form like that. So there's uh, another example.